Hello students. Today we will be discussing some numerical problems which will give you the application part of the three equations of motion. As you all have started that there are three equations of motion in which first is V equals to U plus AT while the second is S equals to UT plus half AT square and the third one is V square minus U square equals to twice of AS and we know that in these equation V stands for final velocity U stands for initial velocity A stands for acceleration T stands for time and S stands for distance so starting with a question number one question number one is a ball is thrown vertically upwards with a velocity of 20 meter per second now how high did the ball go means in this case we have to calculate the height of a ball which is attained by a ball so as the question is given ball is thrown upwards with a velocity of 20 meter per second means its initial velocity that is u is 20 meter per second now as it is thrown upward so it will be reaching some its highest point so at the highest point the final velocity that is v is always taken as 0 meter per second and it is said that it is thrown upwards so acceleration due to gravity that is g will be taken as negative because it is a vector quantity and it is acting in a genuine way in a downwards but the motion is upwards so in this case when it is moving against gravity so g will be taken as negative that is so as it is moving against the gravity g will be taken negative and that is 9 minus 9.8 meter per second square now we have these three these three variables having these equations and we have to calculate the value of h so the third equation is a equation which has all these four variables so v square minus u square is equal to twice of g h substituting the values we will be getting minus 20 whole square as v is 0 so there is no need to put its value 2 multiplied by minus of 9.8 as it is negative and h which we have to evaluate so on solving this we will be getting 400 divided by 19.6 equals to h and on solving this we will be getting 20.4 meter so this is a maximum height which is attained by the ball which was thrown with a velocity of 20 meter per second now discussing about the second question question number two in question number two we have a body falling from height h and travels a distance of a distance of h by two meters during the last second of the motion. 
So we have to calculate the time of travel in this question. As in the question it is written that in the last second of a motion it has covered h by 2 of the total. It means that if it takes h if it takes t seconds to cover h height then in t minus 1 second that is the last second it covers h by 2 of it. So for this we will be we have to calculate the time of travel. Now in this question we will be taking u equals to 0 meter per second and h is given you as a h that is distance. So for the first case that is for the total height the, or the total distance we will be applying the second equation of motion. Second equation of motion states that h is equal to ut plus half gt square. As I mentioned that u is 0. So what remains is half g of t square. Because we have assumed that t is a total time which is taken to travel h height. Now using same equation for the distance of h by 2 traveled in time t minus 1 second. So h will become h by 2 and ut again becomes 0 and half gt square becomes half of g of t minus 1 whole square. Now equating the equations. First of all in the same equation h will become g of t minus 1 whole square. Equate the above equation and the second equation. Let it mark it as first and second. On equating these two equations, we will be getting half of g t square is equals to t minus 1 whole square. On solving this, we will be getting t square is equal to twice of t minus 1 whole square, which gives you t equals to root 2 over root 2 minus 1. Now on rationalizing it to have a simple numerator we will be multiplying it by root 2 plus 1 into root 2 plus 1 which gives you 2 plus root 2 by root 2. This becomes a square minus b square so that is 2 minus 1 that is 1 only. So the time which is taken by the body to cover the whole distance that is h is 2 plus root 2 seconds. Now let us discuss another question. Second question another question is a stone is dropped from the top of a building 200 meter high and at the same time another stone is projected vertically upward from the ground with a velocity of 50 meter per second. Find when and where the two stones will meet. Now this is a question. First, let us draw its diagram. It is given to you that a person is on the top of this flap and it is 200 meter high from the ground. So the height of this flap is 200 meter. From here he drops a stone. So in this case its initial velocity becomes 0 meter per second. Now it is dropped 
with some oh sorry uh, it is dropped now at the same time uh, another stone is thrown upwards with the initial velocity of 50 meter per second there will be some height h at which these two stones will be meeting so we have to calculate that height h and the time at which they will meet so for this let us use the second equation of motion for the first stone let it be first stone and let it be second stone so for the first stone that is applying h equal to ut plus half at square we will be getting h is total height which at which they will meet ut for the first stone it will become 0 because u is 0 and half g g let it be that only and t square is a time at which they will meet now applying the same equation for the second stone if the first stone is covering h height so the second will be covering 200 minus h height to meet the first stone and that is equal to ut for the second stone u is given as 50 so 50t plus half now it is moving so it is moving upwards so g will be taken as positive and t it is moving against gravity so g will be taken as negative so that will be negative g and t square so the equation becomes 200 minus h equal to 50 t minus of half g t square now we have the value of h in the above equation substituting in this equation equation we get 200 minus half g t square is equal to 50 t minus half g t square on equating them we will be seeing that g t, half g t square will be cancelled out by the half g t square what remains is 200 equals to 50 t and on solving that you will be getting t equals to 4 second so at t when t is equal to 4 second they will be meeting to each other now what remains is the height at which they will meet so to calculate the height we will substitute this value of t in equation h equal to half g t square now on substituting it we will be getting half into 9.8 into t square that is 4 whole square on solving this we will be getting 78.4 meter now the crossing position is 200 minus h or the meeting position is 200 minus h so 200 minus 78.4 is equals to 121.6 meter so according to the problem i have we have discussed is the two stones will meet at t equals to 4 second and at a position of 1 to 1.6 meter thank you students